are Two Targets Talk. This is episode number 17, Two Targets Talk, Breaking the Silence of the Shame of Workplace Abuse. I'm Robin Barnett. I'm here with Janice White. And today's episode, we're going to call episode number 17. It's mashed potatoes and gravy tune. Right in time for Thanksgiving. I love that title that you perfect. came up with. <laughs> I know. And, and we're talking about this because... It's a little, you know, there's a lot of chaos going on right now in the world. A lot of people are not feeling very grateful. And it's important, especially times like this, to dig deep. And instead of having a glass half full or half empty, let's practice, dude, I have a glass. So we're going to talk about gratitude, practicing, practicing gratitude, and, and how to get to that place. Yeah, I love that. Um, I, 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 I can easily go back to right after I lost my job um, of the feeling of that there was absolutely nothing to be grateful for. I felt like I had lost everything. And of course, I had lost so much, but it wasn't everything. So how did I get to a place where, again, I could start appreciating maybe what I did have so things could start to turn around for me, right? So mm -hmm. I've shared this many times. There was a day, you know, I worked at the airport when I had my job, and I would be, I was known for running around the airport with a cup of coffee, but I would have the same cup of coffee for eight hours because of how busy it was during <laughs> storms, right? Cancellations, delays, people yelling at you. Um, and here I was sitting, looking outside of my window with a hot cup of coffee, and here at my kids in the background laughing instead of customers screaming at me. Um, and it was my first moment where I was like, okay, this hot cup of coffee is going to be the one thing that I'm grateful for. And it's been the first thing that I was grateful for in, in four months or however long had it been since I had lost my job. So I think that a good cup of coffee is something to be grateful for, but I'm going to ask you, um, we have gone through a couple times. So I want to know why do you, you feel like gratitude, guilt a little, and we were talking about that earlier. And why do you think you feel gratitude, guilt? Right. So you asked me, so this is our second time that we're filming this. Let's be transparent for everybody. Because the first time that you asked me, I was caught off guard, right? And like, there's some cliche answers that I can give in the place that I'm at now, which is that I'm grateful for my children and I am, and I'm grateful for my family, which of course I am, and that I'm healthy, especially coming out of being unhealthy from this experience. Um, I'm super grateful that our family has been able to afford this pandemic, which so many people have not been able to. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm grateful that I get to get on video with you right now and talk about workplace abuse when most people cannot. Yes. So yeah, but I do remember what it was like um, when it had to take a cup of coffee and not just be, you know, I look at, I'm getting too emotional. No, it's, you know what, I think this is an emotional topic for you that because we did stop and start it, you, I think that showing this side and being grateful, and I think that you, this is what it's about, you really had to practice, you had to practice to get to this place, you had to practice, it's not cliche to say I'm grateful for my children, it's not cliche to say I'm grateful for my health, right now a lot of people don't have their health. And a lot of people are waiting in line for food, which we talked about. I'm grateful that I'm, I'm not that one of those people. And I'm also grateful that I can help. I can hand out food or I, that there is still lines. Um, I think it's really important to just, I have a, I have an alarm that goes off that says practice gratitude. And it could be the smallest things I'm so grateful that my dog is healthy and because he, he was sick. And we all know that that little guy means the world to me. I'm grateful that you and I became instant, instant friends. I mean, how lucky am I to have met someone like you in my life at this point? And we do talk about workplace abuse and we do get to hopefully help people. So we're great. I'm grateful that we even get to have this discussion. And I just want everyone to practice Practice makes perfect. If some mornings you can find nothing to be grateful for, just be grateful that you opened your eyes. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you, like, how can we, and you know, I went through the process of learning how to be grateful and it absolutely changed the course of my thought process from losing everything that I had loved to being able to be in a place where I was open to healing and feeling better. And gratitude did that for me. And I've written about, and I've talked about it a lot you know, it's not a light and fluffy topic. Um, It is one of the hardest things to do when you're hurting, but Mm -hmm. one of the most powerful. So, you know, we want to challenge everyone today. Like, even if you have nothing to be grateful for, what is either one thing that you can use your imagination that can possibly be something, or maybe some of you like me or Robin that get to list way more than one, Um, you know, what is something you can be grateful for? I mean, what are some things that you can think of Robin that are like baseline at the bottom? I love it that you said just that you opened up your eyes, but some people Mm -hmm. don't even want to open up their eyes. Right. So maybe what's something like, what are some things, do you remember the first time you had to find something you were grateful for after feeling such loss or. Oh, I remember many of times having to find things that I feel grateful for and it is powerful and it does change your perception to practice gratitude every day. And it can be as simple as a cup of water. I'm grateful for the water coming out of my sink. I'm grateful Mm -hmm. anything. I'm grateful for a piece, anything. We should be grateful for all things. So sometimes when you Like, of course, like we talked about, I'd love to say I'm grateful for my new Prada purse, but I don't have one. Just joking. (laughs) I mean, that's not what I'm grateful for. I'm just grateful for today. I'm grateful for today. Just getting up today and being able to practice gratitude. And some days it's hard. Some days you have to dig really deep. I'm grateful for um, my Teddy, my relationship with uh, Michael. I'm grateful for that. I mean, you you, you can find something every single day. And then when you feel great, grateful, what is it? Grateful uh, guilt. Yeah. Be, great, be grateful that you can be grateful for grateful guilt. Right. <laughs> right. So let us know what you're grateful for. I know this year's little, um, you know, Zoom call, be kind to one another and stay healthy and just be grateful. Right. And we can't wait to hear because also what you might be grateful for, for people that can't find anything yet, because it's a very normal stage of, of loss, right. That you're in a, you're in a phase where you can't find anything, maybe by listing something, um, simple enough, somebody else will find something that, yeah, you're right. That was a great reminder of something I can be grateful for. So let's help each other that. I have something. Tell me. Be grateful that you're not a turkey. right oh if you have nothing you can be grateful for that absolutely so everyone enjoy whatever however you connect with your families be safe and we'll see you on the other side have a wonderful thanksgiving or however you might celebrate yeah yeah bye